Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you for joining me today. Hope your week's going well, and I'm thankful that I get the opportunity to share God's Word with you here today. Before I go much further, I want to remind you that we have a Facebook page which is devoted to nothing but Five Minutes with Phil. And on that, you could uh, subscribe to that or follow that uh, page. You could share all the clips with anybody in the Facebook world. And if that is a blessing to you or somebody that you care about, wow, that's an enormous win for us. So thanks for giving us that opportunity, okay? Well, let's jump into uh, our scripture for today. And we're going to look at the book of Revelation. Now, what's funny is that when I say the book of Revelation, immediately some people kind of freak out because it's like, ooh, he's going to talk about all the scary stuff that's in there, all the judgments and all of this. And, and, and I'm not going to talk about that today, okay? It's, it's good to study that stuff, but uh, that's not our subject today. At the beginning of the book of Revelation, specifically in chapters 2 and 3, Jesus appears to John while he is in exile on an island. And he dictates seven letters to uh, each one to a different church. And this one uh, he dictated to a church in Laodicea. And he says something at the end of this letter that might be kind of familiar to many of you watching this or listening to this. Uh, it's in the New Living Translation, so it might sound a little bit different than what you're used to. But I think God has a good message to each of us because of it. Take a look at this, if you would. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Jesus says this, Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. And we will share a meal together as friends. <clears throat> now, I grew up in the church all my life, okay? And so occasionally, I would find myself either walking through a church or maybe even a uh, like a church supply bookstore that would have different pictures hanging on the wall, different pictures of Jesus. And you'd have pictures of Jesus on the cross and he'd have pictures of Jesus you know holding a, a sheep <laughs> or praying in the garden good pictures uh, and, and this one's often depicted as well as Jesus standing at a door and knocking and a lot of people will uh, read this scripture and they'll look at that and they'll think oh well how nice Jesus is trying to get uh, the attention of sinners so they'll open up the door and give their lives to him. And I've got to remind you that this letter was not written to unbelievers. This letter was written to Jesus followers like you and me. And when you put it in that context, it's kind of interesting to see that Jesus was trying to get the attention. He, he says it's like a, a door knock, knocking on a door, trying to get the attention of the people in that church. And he says, if anyone opens the door and lets me in, I will come in and I'll have a meal with them as friends. And I think there's a message here that's saying, you know what? Jesus will do whatever he can to try to get my attention and your attention. And his whole point in doing so, his whole uh, mode of operation is not to get your attention to condemn you or punish you or make things bad for you. What he wants to do is for you to open the door because Jesus did not say, behold, I'll kick the door down. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock and you've got to let me in. But if we make that decision to let Jesus into our lives and into our hearts, you know what happens? Jesus wants to have fellowship with us. He wants to have a relationship with us. He just wants to be with you. And I guess today there's a picture of Jesus that I want you to grasp of him 
wanting to get your attention. Maybe for you it's through this little video. Maybe it's through your circumstances. But the Lord wants to get your attention and he wants you to open the door of your heart to him. Maybe even further than you've ever opened it before so that he can come in and expand that relationship that you have with him. And when I think of that, that's a pretty neat way of looking at Jesus Christ today. And I hope that blesses you. Well, I've gone over, so i got to let you go. But thanks for joining me today. I hope you know that we love you, we care about you. And Lord willing, we'll see you next time, okay? You take care. Bye-bye.